This is what I'm, some of the modifications that I did to the case is a new fill port. I didn't want to fight when, you know, the PTU, the vent extension mod that people do frequently um, is very, very good. But it takes a long time to fill the PTU because the oil that's going down that vent tube is fighting with the displaced air since this is a sealed case. It's a vented case, rather, but it's vented through the hole that you're pushing oil down. Um, so you're essentially sealing it with the oil. So the air that's in here has to go somewhere. So it's trying to go out the same hole that you're pushing off. So you're fighting and it's a really small, it's a really small hole. Let's see here, let me show you here. If you look, this is the vent. It's really small. It's probably less than a quarter inch, like 3 16 Now, if you notice, I drilled here and that's what I'm gonna be adding this to here. Essentially, this is a 3 8 hole that will fill and the displaced air will come up the normal vent. So you have simple air for the air to go. For those of you that are wondering what it looks like on the inside, there's like a galley right here with the vent. The air goes out into the vent. There's plenty of room for an additional uh, fitting over there. The other thing is the drain. There is a drain on here on the side cover. Might add another one, right? This drain, I don't like this drain personally because it actually makes a big mess. It drips down here. You know, I'm just complaining probably too much, but um, it just actually, I don't know. I just think there's a better mousetrap that can be built, and this is my better mousetrap. What I'm doing here is there is a cap. This is a cap that seals with an O-ring, and it'll just drain out. Now, there's a, this, you know, obviously if this cap were to come off, it would be disaster because all the oil would come out. So I have a fix for that. It's on there pretty good. Put some heat shrink on here because it's knurled past the uh, uh, hex. You put it on there and it's not going anywhere. You just slice it off for maintenance and you and you put a new a new little section of heat shrink on there. This thing is will never come. I don't want to say never because there's always. I'm just being overly cautious with this heat shrink. So anyway, I have it on the current PTU that's in the car now and I've never had any issues. So you know, once I use this pipe thread that I installed in here, this will never come out. All right, so it will always be sealed and I will never break that seal. This is the, uh, the new uh, fill port that I, barb fitting that I installed. I'm just gonna put some Teflon on it. So this particular type of Teflon is um, meant for stainless. It's got uh, anti-seize impregnated into it. That's why it looks gray in color. But you just want a couple of wraps of it. I had already done this one. These are the two fittings we're gonna install right now. Start it by hand. I'm sure there's a torque value for something like this. I just want it good and tight. Just for double insurance, I always install my heat shrink tubing. This just comes off every time you do the change. What I'll do is when you change it, you just take a razor, peel it off, undo it, put a new one on. I'm going to install this. We're gonna go ahead and fill this PTU up. It only needs 18 ounces, but these bags, they come with 32. But I wanna use the bag to fill it. So what do I do? I'm gonna empty it out of 14 ounces. Okay. We got 18 ounces in the bag.
<clears throat> see how fast this goes. Dripping. Got it. 